Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Jordan, and I build sales funnels for people. And one of the most important things in sales funnels is having testimonials. Um, you can use testimonials not just in sales funnels, but really all over the place. But it's so, so important to have them, uh, mainly because it, it builds trust. Um, but I want to show you uh, some other ways that they're really important. And then how you can use sales or um, how you can use uh, testimonials as a bank of copywriting goodness that you can refer to all the time and it's amazing so let's dive in so this is my simple strategy to capture striking testimonials from your raving fans and then double them as a gold mine of copywriting inspiration so here's why testimonials are important uh, they build a crazy amount of trust super fast um, I like to say that it gives the gift of somebody going second, uh, meaning that, you know, if, with your business, somebody doesn't know you at all. And then um, there's somebody that's vouching for you. You know, it's building that kind of trust. Um, you're going to learn how to speak your customer's language instead of yours. A lot of times, like we think, like we know what to say to our customers. And that could be true if you are your ideal um target audience uh, and you're helping people just like you but if you're not or even if you want to dig in deeper about their problems uh, you can see a lot of what their struggles are and what kind of um, transformation you've brought them through they remain relevant um, with google reviews or with amazon reviews um, or yelp reviews you know after three months, they're not as effective, unfortunately. Uh, they are still effective. Don't get me wrong. They are definitely effective. But with a testimonial, there's no date on it. And so you can continue to use that um, forever, really. I, one of the things that I love the most about testimonials is getting it back uh, from a customer and hearing what they had to say about um, value that I could bring them is like it's encouragement on another level. Um, it's so validating and it feels really, really good to, to have that, um, that validation and encouragement of them just shouting from the rooftops about you. And you really only need a handful of them. You don't need to have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of testimonials. Um, if you get a solid amount of them, um, somewhere, honestly, if you, if you can get between, say, uh, 50 to 100 there's going to be some that are like, eh, okay, but then there's going to be some that are like, wow, that's amazing, and you can use it over and over and over again. Um, and so you can, yeah, you, you can use them all over the place. One of the beautiful things, the most beautiful thing, I think, is that you own them forever. They're yours to keep. Uh, you don't have to go onto Google and um, screenshot their, their reviews. I don't even know if that's legal to do that because they're a third party. I'm not sure. Uh, but here's one more reason is you need them everywhere in your marketing, everywhere in your marketing. I would highly suggest putting them everywhere in sales funnels. Boom. As soon as you, you know, you get on uh, with a, with a sales funnel, uh, the front page usually has a lot of different testimonials. And then as you progress through the sales funnels, there's more or through the pages on the sales funnel, there's more and more testimonials speaking why you're good at what you do and why people would encourage others to, um, to do business with you. You can use them in email campaigns, um, you know, send them out in an email, uh, use that as part of a sales letter email. Uh, you can, uh, use them just to show your, you know, that you're really good at what you do. Uh, you can use them to put on your product pages to sell more, uh, use it on your website to show a nice pretty image of somebody, which I'll show, uh, I'll show how I did some um, different images on our website or on a previous website with testimonials, put them on flyers to give out to people and brochures, networking and more. You can really use them so many different places. One of the most powerful ways to do it is to create what's called a story arc. And so you want to use a story framework to squeeze out those juicy details from the beginning to the end. Um, and you start with the problem you st and then you start to peek and uh, you ask them like, what's really going on inside of you? So that's going to get a, a, a really, uh, that's going to give a ton of value uh, because people don't buy to an external problem they buy to the frustration. So they're buying because of the pain of something, the internal pain that they're experiencing. And then when they had an epiphany that what you were doing was actually working, 
and how it transformed them. So asking in that order is really, really important. And then you want to ask the right kind of open-ended questions to show true transformation. And I'll show you the ones that I ask uh, in a minute. So here's a, a tip um, is to strike while the iron is hot. That is what I found has produced the most results or the best, like most exciting kind of results. Um, your customer just experienced great transit transformation from you. So boom, right in that moment, if you're with them or virtually with them, that's a really amazing time to ask for a testimonial. And they're more willing to shout from the rooftops or from the mountaintops and say, yes, I praise the services. It's amazing. You guys did such a great job. And tip, uh, tip number two is if you can do it on video, that is going to be the best. You know, words only are good. Um, if you just have a script that says, you know, in quotations, you know, giving you a testimonial, that's good. Words with a photo shows a, a little bit more credibility, you know, but people, unfortunately, um, marketers have taken uh, fake testimonials and put a fake picture up. And, you know, that's not that's not good. But video is best because you can't fake that. And it's also people like to engage and watch videos. So you're going to get, excuse me, a lot more people watching videos. And it's it's the proof is in the pudding. There's no way to fake that. So it's very, very powerful to get on video. Number three is you can get them for free. Uh, you don't have to bribe them with your wallet. You don't have to offer them, um, you know, uh, money to do this. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of times, what people will do is uh, they'll do giveaways. Um, sometimes that's a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. Yeah, that that costs you money, but you don't have to do that. Here's a few different ways of what you can do. Um, you know, especially if they're longtime customers and they've been with you for a long time, you're going to get a better response. And I've, I've proven this: you'll get a better response if you do some kind of uh, of a giveaway. Um, for example, I sent out a, a thing where we gave away a $75 basket of like these really awesome samples and had, I think, um, really, really quickly over 40 responses uh, to a, a pretty small list, and they were really, really rich. And then I did it a different time to a different audience and didn't offer a prize and got like eight. So there's a big difference when you give away something. So... Uh, or you could give them something, some access to something valuable, a teaching or a training or, or something. And some people will just do it because they love you and they don't need anything in return. But the easiest and the best way is to always ask those these powerful questions, which I'll show you live. If you can do it right then and there while the iron is hot, that is the best way to do it. So here are some real testimonial examples. Uh, the help, guidance, and support make working with them so pleasant. To be able to rely on them for a number of things has not only made my job easier, but helped propel our business forward as well. Uh, this was a real customer when I was a marketer for my family's business. Uh, this was a real customer, and she came uh, in the testimonial form that I'll show you later. She had checked that she would do a headshot, and so she she came into our office, took a picture, photoshopped out the background, and put this on our website. So that was um, it ended up looking really nice. And then this was another customer. I always know who to call when I need a promotional job done fast and perfect. They are the go-to vendor for our promotional needs. Really powerful. And I was in a serious pinch to turn signs around ASAP. I really didn't know where to start. Um, it goes on. Stellar service, creative solution. They produce timely and thorough work and are an absolute pleasure. Thank you. So here is an example of a testimonial um, that I received in my business um, simply by uh, following up and sending the right kind of questions. And then um, Ali actually went and uh, recorded a video and sent it to me in Messenger. And so that was a super simple way to do it. And this is really powerful. I want you to listen because there are, and I'll go over those questions and, and you'll kind of be able to understand how these kind of questions really produce really, really rich results. Oops. My name is Allie Alltop and I am a business and marketing consultant and I recently was working on a sales funnel project for an event and reached out to Jordan just to get his expertise and insight on 
ways to make some powerful tweaks to optimize the landing pages to be more effective in converting. And I'm so excited to say that that sales funnel ended up going on to making over six figures on a back-end offer. And I just know that it was um, Jordan's insight and expertise that was able to contribute to the success of that funnel. And so if you are looking to get more leads or more sales in your business, I cannot recommend enough partnering with Jordan and GoodSpark and moving your business forward. Hmm. Not only did that almost like make me cry the first time I heard that, but it is so rich and so deep. Um, and that will prove to other people like, man, that's really like, that's really, really powerful stuff. Here's another one. This one, I had a stra strategy session um, with him in person. And you see the strategy like in the background um, of or just a brainstorming strategy session. And as soon as we were done, he was, you know, he was like so excited. And I was like, hey, could I actually do a testimonial? And I whipped out my questions and I... I just filmed it with my iPhone. It was very, very simple, and it produced a powerful testimonial. Check it out. Oh, man. Boom. There we go. Before I had this strategy session with Jordan, I actually had a whole bunch of things in my mind that were, I could do this, I could do that, so many different things that I just had in my mind, and they were all just percolating, and I didn't know how to combine them into something that I can actually see and run with. And so it was frustrating. <laughs> it was confusing. That's actually a big one. It was very confusing and it, it just didn't feel good. I felt like I couldn't move forward. That frustration felt like just, an, just really times where I'm like kind of just stuck, stuck in the, the muck and mire. And it, it felt like I was just in quicksand, kept sinking and sinking and sinking. Um, but once I had the strategy session, I, I felt like, oh man, all of this was in me. I didn't know I had all of this. This feels amazing. Like actually knowing that there is value in my life in what God has created me to do and what he's created me to say. There's actually value and purpose that I can hmm. put on paper and I can make something out of it. And so it's really, it, it's really an, an, an elation, I should say, just that has happened in my heart and really in my thought life to understand that I can do this. Like there's something that God has given me. There's something that I can run with and actually do. I can't wait to start. Okay, so that, if you, if, let me point a few things out. There, it started with the problem. You know, he was, he had all these things in his head, and then it felt like he was in, you know, this, this state of just, he was stuck. And now he knows, like, the value that he has, and he's so excited to start. So that, that's what we call a story arc. And that's super valuable in pulling out juicy, juicy details in a testimonial and getting like the difference between, you know, a, a pretty weak testimonial versus a very, very rich testimonial. Actually, that so many different things. Okay, so I want to just kind of show you an example. He did good. I know that's not proper. But which testimonial is better? He did good or... That sales funnel ended up going on to make making over six figures on a back-end offer, and I just know that it was Jordan's insight and expertise that was able to contribute to the success of that funnel. I like that one way better, way, way better. And you do that through asking these really powerful questions to get a rich story of transformation. So number one is what was a problem you were having before you worked with, you know, enter your company name, what did that frustration feel like as you tried to solve that problem? Now we're looking internally at the, you know, what did that feel like? What's that internal problem? What was different about our product or service? Take us to the moment when you realized our product or service was actually working to solve your problem. Now it's becoming this epiphany moment. And now tell us what life looks like now that your problem is solved or being solved. Transformation. I love to ask this. Anything else to add? Because you can squeeze out just a little bit more detail. 
And then a bonus question uh, that I've asked before is, what would you say to someone on the fence about joining or buying? And that just, I love it. I love that question really, because then people will um, kind of, you know, just shout your name, basically like, do it, jump in, you got this, like, it's amazing, just do it. And so that, that goes a really long way too. Um, what I do, I found, what I found is the simplest way is to collect testimonials through a Google form. Uh, that way you can, uh, you know, you can go through and you can tweak it, but you can add in all the information that you need. And then you can immediately just like with one click, and I'll show you in a little bit, but you, with one click, you can um, have all the responses go into a Google sheet and it's extremely easy and powerful. And that's where your bank of copywriting gold will come from. So you can use these submissions for copywriting inspiration, such as email subjects, uh, headers or subheaders on your sales pages, funnels, websites, flyers, even um, ideas for content on your blog, podcast, Facebook Live, uh, Facebook posts, any kind of social media. You can use that as as inspiration, and you'll you'll see that in a second. I'll I'll take you into one of my sheets. Uh, you can. Uh, you know, you can create more targeted products because you're going to see a lot more of what your customers are wanting and saying, and it's going to just help you to even hone in even further. And then you're, of course, going to understand your customer so much better, especially asking them uh, what's going on inside them, because chances are when you, you'll you're, what will happen is you'll start to see this recurring theme happening um, that, you know, for, for example, all of these artists that we were working with all had a lot of, of the same internal frustrations. Uh, they were less than the artists that they thought they could be. They um, didn't know how to use their supplies. They, they, they felt incompetent, a bunch of different things I'll show you. And there's so much more that you can do with all of that. And so let's actually go in and I'm gonna take you to my Google Sheet. So this was, um, you know, this was after getting several different um, testimonials. I think here we just did 44 of them. So this one, I actually did do a, um, a sample basket. It was worth like $75. It really was. It's a lot of really nice professional grade art materials. And I did send out an email saying, Hey, this is like in exchange for submitting a testimonial, you'll be entered into a raffle. Again, you don't have to do that, but you'll get really awesome results if you do. Um, so I just want to share a few of them. So what was your absolute biggest challenge before attending one of our classes? You know, these people said finding time to uh, attend the class, mixing and blending colors, figuring out how to do something. What did that feel like? Felt frustrating. I felt less than the artist that I want to be. I felt frustrated. Um, and what changed after attending? I loved it so much and now I find a way to carve out time. I feel like even though I still have things to learn, I have the ability to be the artist I'd like to be. And I like that it helped me wrap my brain around it. I still don't paint as much as when I'm home, but I know that when I would sign up for a class, you know, so we can start to see, you know, boom, I'm asking what kind of specific results. I was pleased with what I painted. I, I would have done it in a different order, but it was very interesting. Just do it. When, you know, this is the, what would you do, say to someone on the fence? Just do it. Definitely go for it. You gotta go. You'll always learn something. If you're new like me, there's a bunch of different classes and style to see what style you like or don't like, even if you think it's beyond your skill level. Take the leap, it's worth it. Um, so all these different things. I loved Keaton's, which was our family's business. I loved Keaton's from the moment I walked in the door, I felt like a kid in the candy store and I need some more classes that oh, I'm interested in. So that's even that right there, boom. That's really good detail about how you can even um, uh, carve out your products to make it, uh, you're starting to get more and more insight. So, I mean, I have literally accessed this sheet every week for probably two years. That's powerful. It's all right there. It's all in front of me. Um, and you can go back and you can, or, or when I was working for them, you know, I was accessing it a lot, a lot, all the time. And that's just such powerful information that you can continue to always go back to. So that's one of the huge things about why this is uh, so powerful. How you can increase open email open rates. Well, you speak their language and subject lines. Um, when you're learning that kind of information, even from testimonials, you're learning their language and you, and, and you can see um, how you can start to piece out different things. And let me give you some examples of what these are actual real 
um, subject lines that I went in and I, I pulled from our email software that I used solely based on inspiration from the sheet that I just showed you. Feeling unmotivated to create, lost and not sure where to start in your art, don't overthink, just create, become the artist you want to be. Remember that one? Uh, she felt less than the artist that she wanted to be, so I'm saying, hey, you can, you can become this. Uh, create art that you can smile about. Creating doesn't have to be intimidating. So many people were saying how intimidated they felt, but then once they took a class, it was like, I'm not intimidated anymore. That was so easy. Take some pressure off of yourself. It's so easy and fun to learn something new. Find an art class that challenges you and uh, get inspiration to get your brush moving again because so many people said uh, that they felt like that they couldn't, um, they couldn't even start. They were afraid of the blank canvas. And so, yeah, boom, now we're just we're getting all this insight from our customers, it's amazing. Now here's how you actually go and capture the testimonials. Uh, one of the big things that I use, like I said earlier, is setting up a Google form. Uh, you will need to have a Gmail account to do that. Uh, you'll need to go in and um, you know edit your title and uncheck restrict access, which I'll show you in a second, and then change the color, enter your company name, uh, and edit. I'll give you a template of mine um, that you can uh, edit so you don't have to go and do everything um, and edit the template to make it make sense. And then one click to create it into or to collect all the data into a Google Sheet, which I showed you. Um, but I'll show you how to do that. So let's actually go in and let's look at this. Okay. So this is the template that I use to actually create testimonials or to capture the testimonials. So first thing is, and you know, this one I don't think is set up for um, claiming a prize or for a raffle, but if you were to do a raffle, um, I did in the next section, you know, you can go in and you can actually uh, add a different section. Oops. Oh, is this. So you can add a section and that'll go below it. And then you want to collect an email address if you are um, going to do a, a prize. Actually, I think even on this one, I think I had already put on um, an email address. And I'll show you that in a second. So um, first name, last name, email address. Okay, so I did uh, company, job title. If it's a business, obviously you don't need to have company or job title if you're not targeting to a business. So you would need to edit this accordingly. Um, and then the next page would be, you know, this is where we ask those questions. Um, and so you would just go and change, make sure you change all the intercompany name and just fit the form to where it's for you. What was a problem that you were having before you worked with our company? What did that frustration feel like as you tried to solve that problem? What was different? Take us to the moment uh, where you realized that it was working. Tell us what life looks like now that it's being solved, and was there anything else you wanted to add? And this is important because um, especially you, you want to be able to display their name. Um, so can I use your full name, and your business name, just your first name, last name, business name, or I like to put other so that they can put whatever they want. Um, and can we use a headshot and can we use a video? And if they say yes, uh, what you can do in Google um, in a Google form is you can add it to where there's where people could upload a video or upload a picture. I didn't put it in this one um, because I chose to actually follow up because of this. If, um, if I didn't like the testimonial, then I didn't need the extra, um, I didn't need them to actually put in a headshot or upload a video. And some people get a little bit lost in doing that. So that's another reason why I like to have a video testimonial or where I send the questions to them and they respond. Um, and then can we feature your customer or your company's logo in our marketing? So it's really important that you go to the settings up here and you, if this is clicked on, or if it's checked, uncheck it because uh, you want it to be open to really anyone. And then um, you'll need to go send, grab this link. I like to shorten the link and then you will copy that and then you can email that out, you can send it in Messenger, you can put it really wherever. Um, and that's how people are going to access the form. So the form itself, uh, let me just do a preview. This is what it would look like. You know, first name, last name, email address, company, title. So I'm just gonna say test.
and hit next. And so I'd go in, you know, then I'm, I'm going through and I can answer all the questions. And so, yeah, that's just, this is just testing that form. And then what I want to show you is uh, you can go and you can see all of your different responses. And so all the responses would be here. And then you would simply click this. When you click this, it's going to create a Google Sheet like this. And it, all the, the responses that come in are going to come in boom, 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 one after another. So it's very, very, very simple to do. Okay, so it says shorten the link. Um, so Messenger, somebody can send you a video straight in Messenger on Facebook. And uh, you can actually go and you can download that video and you can upload it to YouTube or upload it wherever you need to actually host the video um, so that you can use the video. So that's really awesome. You can shoot them um, an email. And I'll show you an email that I, I did and that I that I used and it was really well or worked really well. Uh, text, you know, Facebook, put it on your website and do whatever you want with it. And then again, if you ask live, you need to get their permission and just ask, hey, can I use this? And I just, you know, that's you don't want to get yourself in any kind of trouble, um, which is the reason why in that form I ask for permission. Okay, so here's a real example of what one that I sent out. Um, hey, it's almost been a month since we finished our brand new art room. Can you do us a favor? We're really wanting to know what you think of the new room and your experience in it so far. To do that, we need your input. Write a quick testimonial to help us spread the word. Oh, and by the way, you're going to enter in for a $75 basket of art supplies. And then boom, people said, yes, I'll help. Or they clicked that button. So 45 people clicked there, 33 people clicked there, and it went straight to the testimonial form. And then um, we went through and I, I to took all the names and I put it into like a random name generator or um, oh, I, I uploaded it to some site with all these different names and I had it randomly choose one name. That's what it was. And that's how I, uh, we just, we picked our winner. Um, and she came in and she got the art basket. And, you know, I think it's courteous to, uh, to send a follow-up email to your people and say, hey, this person won. Because I've entered in stuff before and it's like I never realized, like I never found out if I won or somebody else won. I just think it's good, good to do that. Um, so now you can collect testimonials. Your, you can collect your own amazing testimonials. And plus I'll give you my templates. Um, you can, uh, or I'll, I'll I'm going to share a link with you uh, for, and it should be in the, the post description. Um, so you can fill in the blank testimonial Google form template yourself. What you'll need to do, I believe, is you'll need to actually go in and make a copy of the form. So if you don't do that, then it's like everyone that uses it is going to use the same. Otherwise, I may just have to take off the sharing and you just may have to create the form yourself, which is not hard to do. Um, and I'll give you, uh, you know, some, some testimonial graphics that you can use for your website, emails, and social media to ask if you want to pretty it up a little bit. Or you can go to canva.com and make your own, or you don't even need to do them. But I just think it's a, a you know, something else that's a little a nice to have. Um, and then I'll, I'll send you the, the email um, scripts that I did for the testimonials, the, the one that I just showed you. And all you have to do is just fill in the blanks. And then you're, this is a, a good key piece is that you want to have those questions readily available so that you can ask while you're filming somebody. And this link that I'll send you is going to take you to a, um, a Google form of mine or a Google uh, folder on Google Drive and where you'll be able to go in and you, know, you can access all of these. Uh, just a quick peek. Here's the different testimonial graphics that I created for you. And the scripts, you know, these are just text docs because there's no formatting on there. Um, so you can take that and put that into your email software or send it out however you need to. And then I put a winner one in there too, uh, the prize winner. And then just asking these questions on to someone on video so you could print that out or just write them down or however you want to do. Hey there, so that's how you collect amazing testimonials for your business. I hope that that was helpful for you. So go ahead and implement that strategy and you can immediately begin collecting testimonials for your own business. Thanks.